most of southern Minnesota has gone through an extended period without much rainfall. While some areas of the state are very dry, much of south-central Minnesota went into the fall harvest with plenty of moisture in the soil profile. Despite not adding any moisture for weeks, University of Minnesota Extension educator Brad Carlson says soils aren't losing much moisture. The processes which moisture leave the soil, uh, primarily evapotranspiration, no transpiration, there's no plants growing, evaporation is very, very low when the temperature is cold. And so we're really not, uh, we're really not very far off from what we were in early October. So far this year, most of Minnesota remains free of snow. Carlson says snowfall does help recharge soil moisture to a degree. He also says the lack of snow may allow the frost to go deeper in the soil, which could affect next spring's field work. Without snow, we can get very deep frost, and then in that case it can delay where we're at in the springtime, as well as uh, help to uh, prevent the moisture from going into the soil when it starts raining in the spring if the ground's still frozen. And so do we need snow? Yes, probably, uh, but probably not necessarily for the sake of recharging soil moisture. Snow cover does help insulate the soil and it does add soil moisture. But in terms of soil moisture, spring rains are even more vital. But assuming we have a normal spring, which who knows, but I guess all we can do is go with the averages, it's probably not critically important we have a lot of moisture from snow. It's that time of year when farmers are already thinking about next spring. So far, very little snow here in the upper Midwest that could have an impact, but there's a lot of winter yet to go. This is Lynn Kettleson reporting.